Hello everyone, how you doing? Guess what, the Lambo is back at home guys. So, Ben delivered it back last night at about, oh, hang on, what time was it? Oh, it was just before I had to go Ilfacoon and get the children, so it was about half past four. He delivered it back guys. I got in it on the truck, fired it up. Um, obviously I didn't want to irritate the neighbors too much because um, it was dinner time everywhere. Um, but surprisingly enough, it wasn't like a massive amount louder on idle than it was before, which is good news. And that was with the valves open. Um, so Ricky has ordered me a valve, um, a, a button electronic valve that didn't actually have one. Um, but what he's done is he's put the valves in the open position for now, but he's going to take a trip over here. I think he's got to go somewhere locally. He's going to pop over and fit it for me so we can change the valves open and shut off the button. But anyway, fired it up last night. It was still a bit warm from where it left there. So it was only cold start for a split second. That was louder. Um, but what it's like on a proper cold start, I don't know yet. Just about to go home and show you guys. So that'd be the first time I've heard it. But on idle, yeah, not too bad. But the difference is when you rev it, massive amounts of difference. Sounds, well, to be honest, it sounds like you've unleashed hell. Um, the pops and the bangs and the backfires, just mental. Sounds like a, um, a Hurricane STO, to be honest. So yeah, well happy with that. Didn't think it would sound like that. For all you guys that say, Lee, you ought to grow up with your pops and bangs, honestly, that is what owning a Lamborghini is all about. So yeah, well chuffed with that. So just gonna get back home, guys. Can't wait to get, my missus is not in there at the moment. She's on her way back, probably be half hour. So I wanna get there, I wanna get it fired up and uh, let's have a listen before she gets back because she will promptly tell me to turn that off. Um, but yeah, let's get home and see what it sounds like, shall we? Excited school kid. Right, so here it is, guys. The car is back. The Inconel exhaust is on. And we're gonna give it its first start up. I'm well excited. I feel like a five-year-old. This is nuts. Hang on, let me get in. Oh my God, my hips. Oh. Oh. Hang on, guys, hang on. Here we go. Get ready. Yeah, so normally not. That sounds all right. is what you want in it oh look at the weather it's shitty weather i want to just go out in it but yeah there we go guys absolutely over the moon with that and it does sound half sensible on idle which is nice i'm gonna have to take it for a little spin can't contain myself Oh, boys and girls. Don't even care that I'm over my phone, I shouldn't be. This is nuts. I mean, the backfires when you're changing gear and that. Listen to that.
That's nuts. That's what I've always wanted. I'm so excited now. It just sounds so good. This is what a car should make you feel like. I'm 44 years old and I don't feel half of that at this minute. I mean, Ricky at RE Performance has given me exactly what I've always wanted from this car. Sorry about this shoddy cameramanship here, but I don't even know whether you can hear that, to be honest with you. Just sounds so aggressive and feels a lot more torquey mid range. Oh, that feels nuts. Can you hear that? <laughs> I mean, I don't even care if it's shitty weather. Could give a crap. This is nuts. Well, let's get this thing back in the garage. So there we go, guys. Ricky has created me a beast. And that's just what I wanted. Um, but yeah, until we can get the GoPro set up on it, um, microphone at the back and all this, it was just a quick black, guys, because uh, obviously I hadn't really heard it. That was the first time I'd heard it. So um, until we can take you guys out for a spin, get to hear the proper sound of that exhaust at the back, etc. Um, we're going to have to wait a little bit. But moving on, a little bit of an update with the E30. Just when I thought, although I hadn't bothered Mikey at all, I said to him, whenever, I'm not going to rush you, mate. I understand you've got plenty on. Um, I was just starting to wonder if anything else had been done. Um, and yesterday, obviously, I got the excitement of the, um, the Lambo turning back up. Mikey got in touch with me with a big old update, lots of photos. Um, and the man is doing a sterling job. So the back bumper brackets are all on, work of art they are. He's utilised the, the central original bracket for the bumper to bolt onto, because obviously it's fiberglass now, um, but he's made a work of art um, to hold the side of the rear bumpers on. Check this out. Still in the process of doing the front bumper. A lot of the um, fabrication has been done now. So you see there he's made the brackets for the side skirts, which we will hopefully um, work out a way of smoothing over once they're bolted on, etc. maybe. Um, but what he's done is he's, the reason for the rear and the front bumper mounting like that is so we don't get, so it looks a bit OEM to be honest. Uh, Mikey, Mikey knows, it's hard to explain, but Mikey knows exactly what I want. I want it looking pretty OEM, but DTM at the same time, not just out and out rough race car, if you know what I mean. Absolutely brilliant. Mikey is cracking right on. The next thing is once he has done all the sort of fabrication on the shell, um, he is going to Gravitex all underneath the arches, all underneath the car, um, just so it's really weatherproof, you know, um, because this car is not going to be a show pony as much as I probably will take it to shows and stuff like that. The intention has been from the very beginning that we are going to be using this car um, in the crap weather, the good weather all year round, really. That's the whole idea of it. So yeah, he's going to be doing that. Then he's going to give me a hand doing a dry build of the car, making sure everything's fitted where we want it, all the holes are drilled and tapped, etc. Then we'll strip it down, then painted, then it's going back together, guys. So probably not going to be a massive amount of time away, really, this thing. I would have thought it's definitely going to be done by middle of next year, I would have thought, um, hopefully sooner. But yeah, there we go, guys. Just a short video to show you my... I'm sorry I'm so excited today. Um, just like a kid in a sweet shop, as you can imagine. Just can't wait to set some decent mics up on that car and take you out and, and do loads of videos next year with it. So yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you very much for, to Mikey Dove and to Ricky at RE Performance. If you haven't yet subscribed to Ricky's channel go down to the link in the description below and head over to Ricky's channel and give it a watch there. Fantastic. But until then, guys, see you in another video.